So you may have noticed that there are a couple of videos that are missing from my channel and the reason for this is that YouTube has yet again updated its terms of service policy. You know, when I started on this platform, there were a couple of common sense rules like don't bully, don't harass, uh, don't do hate speech. But over time, it's becoming like a compendium of rules. I mean, I wonder if 10 or 20 years, if YouTube is still around, if we're going to have like a really thick book of things that you are and aren't allowed to talk about. Now, the videos that I removed um, haven't violated any of the community guidelines. In fact, all of them were monetized, uh, all of them were manually reviewed by people working at YouTube. So I'm pretty sure that the videos were safe. But usually when YouTube does something like this, uh, it uses AI in order to monitor the situation. And the AI doesn't always understand sarcasm, it doesn't always understand metaphors and... Um, you know, you used to have like a three strike system. So if you made a video that was a problem, you would get one strike. Recently, I see entire channels completely deleted. Like I used to make a video whenever a channel got deleted unfairly and I would raise awareness. But if I were to do that now, I would probably have to make like three or four videos a day. And, and you go on uh, Team YouTube at Twitter and you notice that it's almost like they're bragging about the high numbers of videos that they're removing and they're deleting. Um, so, you know, what can you do? I, I guess uh, the, the best thing that I can do is to upload my videos on alternative platforms. Uh, you guys know where to find them. A lot of people keep saying, it's like, well, V, why don't you advertise your other platforms? Look, if you can't find me there by yourself, you're probably not going to find me anywhere even if I advertise. Right, so, so I want people to be able to find me on the other platforms by themselves because then that guarantees that they're going to keep watching. I'm pretty sure if I tell you to check me out on the Altec, you, you probably might click it just because it's convenient. But if I stop telling you to do that, then you stop clicking. Because cause I'm a user myself, like I know how this works, okay? Like I, I'm all for convenience, I, I'm a lazy person. And I assume other people are too. So if someone finds me by themselves on an alternative platform, then I guess that person is going to be more likely to return uh, than someone that I just send them there. So it is what it is. You know, like at, at the end of the day, uh, I don't make the rules. I, I just know how the game is played. I, I have seen so many people get taken down for uh, bots and AI that misinterpret the video. They, they don't get the whole context. So... It's very difficult to report the news when you're not really allowed to report on what's the most important thing. Like, for example, during the pandemic in the beginning, even if you said the word COVID, like regardless in what way or circumstance you'd have said it, you'd have gotten demonetized and deranked. Other people got banned in the beginning. And the thing with the rules, like they, they just make them on the fly. Like, like, for example, some rules are so idiotic like for example you're not allowed to talk about content which comes from hacked materials like why you know it's so bizarre so like most of the journalistic exposés came from a journalist getting access to some files that he wasn't supposed to legally you know but but like again like they're making these rules on the fly very bizarre in order to fit whatever controversy exists in society within that particular time. And then they ban people retroactively. So you can make a video that is perfectly okay today and within the community guidelines. But five years from now, they can change the community guidelines and then they can find the video you made five years ago. Remove it from your channel and either give you a strike or shutting down your channel completely. And just so you can understand how ridiculous this is, there was this uh, gaming channel, it was quite large, because I saw him post on uh, at Team YouTube on Twitter in order to get help. And he was playing this video game, but within the video game, there was a problematic flag. And, and it only appeared, I believe, for like one or two seconds, and his entire channel got deleted. No strikes, no nothing. And this is what we're talking about, because it's the bots and the AI that do the censorship. 
I, I don't know how the system exactly works. Um, maybe there is an actual human doing the reviews, but I don't think they watch the whole videos. Like, if it's a two-hour game stream, I don't think they have time to watch the whole two hours. I think they just watch, like, the part that the bot flags. And they're like, oh, well, you know, this seems legit enough to me. Click ban and the channel is gone. So, yeah, this is a message for other YouTubers as well. Like, be very careful. Again, try to avoid metaphors. Uh, try to avoid any sarcasm. Uh, try to avoid any jokes. Uh, you know, like, present it exactly like CNN presents it if you want to talk about it. Uh, present it exactly like the corporate press would. In other words, exactly what people are running away from. You know, exactly why people are going to independent commentaries, because it doesn't feel soulless, it, does, it, it feels genuine. You know, this is why people go to Joe Rogan, because he doesn't seem like a corporate shill. He, he just is like a normal person asking questions, but uh, that's that's very problematic nowadays. So, you need, you need to be careful, right? If you're a fellow YouTuber and you, you want to cover anything regarding this, like, be absolutely careful what you're saying. Everything uh, you, you say is being uh, translated into text by an algorithm. And then a bot looks at the text, and if it finds something problematic, it flags. I mean, the system is so good that, again, like, just say COVID back in the day in any video, at any point, would have flagged your, your entire thing. So... This is the new normal, and um, yeah, I, I expect that the censorship will expand, especially now that the midterms are coming, I don't know, like maybe saying that inflation isn't caused by the conflict uh, is misinformation, uh, maybe saying that the high gas prices are a little bit upsetting is, is misinformation, I, I can expect anything at this point, really, because why not, I, I mean, why not, you know, the cards are on the table, there is a symbiotic relationship between social media and the uh, neoliberal government. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, whatever. You know, we, we all knew that this is happening. I guess now it's accelerating. So if you're wondering why I deleted my videos, that's why. It's uh, not that they were in necessary violation of terms of service. Everyone that watched them knows it. In fact, everyone knows that I also support Ukraine. It, it's not... It's not something that uh, should be controversial, but there are bots. And there, there is AI, which uh, doesn't really understand nuances and context and whatever. Like, uh, it was only a couple of months ago when entire channels got purged if they were to show the footage from 9-11. Uh, which was quite ridiculous considering it was around September 11 and a lot of people were commemorating the event and they were making videos to remind people about the tragedy and, uh, you know, the YouTube bot was running amok, <laughs> deleting channels left and right. I think most of those people got their channel back, but, but still, you know, it, it's so stupid, it's so dumb. What can you do about it? Um, so, yeah, my videos that I deleted are on Altec, you, you can find them there, and uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.